we have to talk about these these scenarios because the world is worse than people think but it's also extremely good but we need good people leading the world we need people that actually give a fuck on more than just their family name and their own reputation Legacy, yeah. and their own bank account right so like what are these scenarios we're talking about you know carbon credits and this entire like greenhouse emission and everybody has their carbon footprint what happens when you exceed your carbon footprint no more food you've exceeded your carbon footprint and they'll tell you the same narrative which is what it's not about you you need to save make, the environment yeah, yeah. save the environment and take care of everybody else if you look at the history of climate change go figure out where it started <laughs> it's very interesting i know exactly what you're talking about and i agree with you on this one but at the same time do not like you're going to war with these people. I'm not going to war with anybody. Yes, brother. you are, bro. No, I'm not. Like you're you're building an audience and you're telling people to like actually look into this stuff and wake them up. But that's okay. And if you get a big enough audience, you're gonna threaten them and then they come after you. No. So do you are you trying the, to go? No, brother. The only reason we have this information is because they allow us to have this information. Okay. Which is why it's called the Great Reset for a system. They need to reset the system. People need to understand that this current system is broken in order to accept the new system. I mean, it makes sense. Like we Exactly. Don't, we so the reason the, the information on. is out there is they want that information out there. Carl Schwab doesn't just write a book called The Great Reset, right? For no reason. It's not a conspiracy. He literally wrote a book titled that. It's mm. his, basically his entire manifesto. So you have these people that are telling you, hey, 